Dixie was the third hull that the Ford School was commissioned to build. They thought that would be a good, you know, avenue to build boats and teach their students mm -hmm. how to build a boat. And what they found out over that is that if you can put in 200 bones, you don't want to have to do 2,000 marks to know how to do it. You know, so, so over the time of those three boats, it kind of got to the point of them saying, I don't know if we should be doing these because, you know, they take a year, the, the second year students there would do that, but they have a really hard time finishing before graduation because they're doing other stuff, learn a lot of other stuff. And they would do lap straight building, but that was their plan was to build, to teach boat builders. And then there was another commission by a fellow from Iowa before Dixie Flyer. Yep. Okay. And he backed up. He paid one payment, he backed up, decided not to do it. And the boat was there for a year, almost a year. And it was just, it had a bottom, and he had done the sides, and he had some sheeting on the decks, but it just sat there. And it was not a good thing to have there because they wouldn't finish it because they needed the money for somebody to finish the commission. You know? So yep. he stopped right there and it sat there, and I kept. I was there twice because I was on their uh, advisory committee at that point. And I'd see it, the next time I come up, it's still here. I'm going, you guys got to get this off the floor. It doesn't look good for a boat building school like this year or next year. Nobody, but nobody would step up and commission, recommission, and, you know, pay for it. And I saw it, and I asked a bunch of people, you know, you want to buy this? Tom Flood and other people I said, here's your chance, because Tom likes that kind of project, it's hacker. And he said, no, I have projects going on. So I asked everyone, and I just said, fine. Talked to the school and said, what do you want for it? And I'll just take a look at this. OK, and I paid them what they wanted. And it had a you know, rudder with it. It had a shaft with it. They had cast some of those, which were Van Damme from that Because he was on the board of directors and on the advisory committee. So I said, fine, and picked it up, brought it back. From that point, I said, well, I don't like what they have. You've done because I don't want another replica, so I just did the design different, which is similar to the first Wilson water car. T14 was for our customer, Terry. Yeah, you know, that started with someone else, and you know, it was commissioned to Kenny Bassett. He had some health issues, he couldn't finish it. It was similar, but it wasn't, I didn't want to do the same, so we just said, we'll change it. And Terry's was a two seat, you know, two person boat. And, I wanted a four-person boat. I, don't, I said it doesn't need to be a racer. We're going to have fun yeah. with it. Yeah. So I just designed it into a different deck line and a different design. And you know, this, you build the boat around a motor. A big motor. I had the 427, so I said, this is a good motor, strong. Put it in and decided to do that. And then had it for, I don't know, when it's finished. But it was done in 16. You bought it. Yeah. I five bought it. years, maybe, maybe. Yeah, five years later. But what. Um, what made you want to do the dark sides on that one like versus the other side? Well, I mean, it's got the African mahogany, but the sides are much darker. Well, they're darker because I mean, they're stained darker, but they're, you see through them. Yeah. And, I, and a lot of what you want to call gold cups, or what they want to call race boats, which these are not copies, or the idea of that had painted sides. They didn't bother with worrying about varnishing sides and stuff because they're banging them into things and they're rough. So a lot of them were white and black, all kinds of colors. And I said, well, it would be interesting to see. It looks sort of longer when they're dark. Yep. And instead of covering all of my with paint, which I just, I'm doing on the one I'm doing now, but I just can't do it. I couldn't do it yet. Because it was sort of a racer, I said, I'll just stay in it. And, you know, I played around until I figured this one to get in the sun. You see, it looks really nice in the sun. It's just different because the other ones weren't. You know, you do things. If you're going to put your name on something and you have an opportunity, maybe I'm not, you know, some of these people have built 30 boats or all this stuff. I said, I may end up with five or six boats in my lifetime. Mm -hmm. I had some build characters into it. Fine, you got your name on something. So it's a little different. The one I'm doing now is similar, but it has paint insides. More Canadian boats than natural because they spent the time to really make them look nice, the ditch burns and stuff. And in between, there was the twin engine monster that took three years to four years to get done, you know. And it was a commission that I gave. I had draw. I made up my own drawings of what I wanted based on the ditch burn. It came that last ditch burn that I restored in 1990 or something. And I wanted something like that, but I wanted twins. So I, I drew it up and I sent it to Charlie Janis, who's an architect who was. 
has passed away at this point. But he went back and forth till he did real drawings, because he's an architect and I wanted it to be performed and balanced, right? So he did all the drawings and I gave those drawings to the boat building school. I said, I want to commission this and they said, okay. And that was probably what did them in on new boats, because <laughs> after two years, they had uh, framed it in the bottom of it. And they were like, you know, they said, we don't, I don't think we can do this because we don't want to be a boat builder. We just want to teach how to do things. And this is just too big for us. That was 29 foot? That was 29 foot. Well, when I got done, people who know boats looked at it and said, is that built in Canada? You know, yeah. To me, it's probably the process and the ability to maybe. I'm not Peter Brain. He's a good friend. <laughs> you know, that I can, I'm not going to make that level of you know, uh, numbers and quality because I don't have staff. At this point, it's just adding another hull to the list of Wilson water cars, which is going to be short. <laughs> but this one, Dixie, was kind of a special boat because it was there was more of me in it than yes. the other ones. The ergonomics of these boats, how do you fit in it, how many people can get in it, they really look like there's a lot of room until you finish it. Yeah. You're going, man, this is a narrow boat. I wish I'd given myself a boat. A little, more, a little more space. But then I lose that long deck. <laughs> I love that look. So. And of course, I think I approached you after you got your home. Oh yeah, right away. When not I, not when too I, much. I when said, I had it here at the show. Yeah. I said, when, do you, when can I buy that boat? <laughs> I chased it for three or four years. And I said, well, that was 16. Remember the people, we would have a sign at the show. At the show, it would say, uh, you know, the year. Yeah on the sign on the other side of the boat. We were standing on the other side. Yeah. And the people would walk up to us and they go, what year is that boat? It's about five months old. Yeah. And they just look at each other like, what do you mean? It's an old boat, how old is it? I said, I said the sign is right there. Right? Yeah. And they look at the sign and they go, 16? How, yeah. what is six, 2000? That's 1916, no, it's 2016. What do you mean? It's new. And they look yeah. at, this is new? Like no one has ever built a new boat in their world, right? The whole idea is to perpetuate this to a degree of, although some entities don't think much of new boats, yeah. my mind was always, I've restored a long time, why not try to add some to the list with your own name on it? And you know, when it comes out, I mean, this man never, I mean, he wanted it from the moment he saw it. Yeah, I <laughs> and I, I said, well, probably at some point that's going to happen. And it's good because, you know, he used it more in two months than I used it in five years. That's right. I know Ed Skinner, you know, and he's he built boats and he, you know, been do boats forever. You get in the boat, not very often. He said, I don't get in the boat anymore, you know. Yeah. You know, Craig's going to carry on this tradition. You're going to take on building these new boats yourself, right? Well, at least maintain them, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to do a few more, but. There's a few more in me. <laughs>